A hundred and fifty years ago, the longleaf pine forest dominated the landscape of the southeastern United States. Over 96 million acres of longleaf pines have been reduced to just over three million acres today. The well, longleaf pine tree has become a priority of all the USDA and U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service uh, due to the fact that over a period of time, uh, pro over 90% of the longleaf habitat that was here during the European settlement has been decimated due to timber harvest and clearing land for agricultural purposes. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Natural Resources Conservation Service is trying to reverse this trend by implementing the Longleaf Pine Landscape Initiative. South Carolina is one of the states participating in this initiative. The NRCS has a Longleaf Pine Initiative program that, um, where landowners are eligible for 75% cost share funding to convert loblollies and other non-productive species to a longleaf pine ecosystem on soils that are suitable for longleaf. Um, not only can we plant the longleaf pine, but we can cost share on practices such as prescribed burning, fire lane establishment, uh, establishment of warm season grasses that go along with the longleaf pine ecosystem, and things that benefit the wildlife habitat associated with longleaf pine. But what we try to do in NRCS is to think back what, what did the landscape look like and try to reestablish that natural uh, habitat. And that's what we're doing with this uh, WHIP Longleaf Pine Initiative is to try to focus our attention and our resources on reestablishment of the longleaf tree, uh, which will give us that historic uh, uh, ecosystem that we've lost over time. Bab and Stevens have formed a team to share information with private landowners in the sand hills of South Carolina. We have developed a small team as part of that initiative along with some of the state forestry agencies, uh, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service that's here, our agency, and where we can pool our mindset and everybody is telling landowners the same thing. Planting longleaf pines is a very attractive to landowners for multiple reasons. Uh, there is a wildlife component, there is an income generating component, all the while benefiting the land and growing trees that are eventually for maybe even a generation or two down the, down the road for that super high quality timber product. One of the benefits to having NRCS uh, as part of our partnership is that they know the private landowners, they're very familiar with the landscape, and also in the ranking uh, program for these um, enhancement and restoration projects, they take into consideration existing protected lands, whether they're federal or state, and they help us by creating wildlife corridors and connectivity across the landscape. One of the things that this team is telling landowners is that prescribed burning is an important management tool in establishing a healthy stand of longleaf pines. Prescribed burning is really the, the key practice that we like to see a lot of private landowners agree to. Um, it just, it really um, controls that mid-story. Red cockaded woodpeckers, um, they like to have a nice open mid-story. Um, and when you do that prescribed burning, it, it really uh, controls that mid-story and also gives a really nice developed herbaceous layer um, that's good for the insects. One of the landowners who has taken advantage of the NRCS Healthy Forest Reserve Program is John Ivester. His property is completely surrounded by the Carolina Sandhills National Wildlife Refuge. To own this property is a good feeling because everybody that comes here uh, says this is a special place. Uh, if you go to sleep here at night down in the house, you, if, you don't have to worry about being disturbed because it's totally silent. And uh, although I have no real need for coyotes, uh, the coyotes howl here in the evening and sometimes in the morning. We have a pretty good coyote population, but it's, it's quiet, serene, and it's, to me it's just spectacular. And the longleaf pines, I don't know how you could find a, a, a more beautiful tree. It's green all year round. So it's just a great place. Ivester is keenly interested in wildlife, and longleaf pines provide a perfect habitat for many species. The longleaf produces a, a pine nut, 
seed, which comes to the ground and feeds quail and feeds turkeys. And I assume other birds uh, eat them, but they're on the ground. So the, the longleaf also handles fire much, much better. And uh, it's just a, a, a better overall tree to have on your property. Here at the refuge, we've identified 800 species of plants. We have about 150 species of birds, and um, we have many, many species of butterflies, dragonflies, and it's all um, due to managing the longleaf pine ecosystem holistically. One of these species is the endangered red cockaded woodpecker. The red cockaded woodpecker is closely linked to longleaf pine, and so as longleaf pine declined across the southeast region, their numbers also declined. The red cockaded woodpecker is unique among woodpeckers in that it um, nests in living pine trees. It's the only woodpecker to do so, and it requires old growth uh, longleaf pine trees that are at least 70 to 120 years old, and then they excavate their cavities there. They also like open forest conditions, which would have existed historically because of lightning fires that naturally would have burned. So we do a lot of habitat management here to mimic those historic conditions. Landscape conservation, when you look at the big picture, uh, it's what we try to look at as, a, as an agency when we formulate our, our programs and the, 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 the things we do uh, with those federal resources. And uh, to date, we have um signed approximately two and a half million dollars worth of contracts which would cover uh, 10 or 11 thousand acres of re-establishment of longleaf pine. So that's a pretty good start for a two year period of time. And as things go on and um, more people see the benefit of longleaf pine, both economically and for wildlife benefits, I think it will be a very successful program.